minutes. This is like take seven of this video. <laughs> Hello friends, how are you? My name's Marie. I love talking about green, clean beauty and all things wellness and health. And I have been structuring my videos a little differently in 2021. I've been using products for 30 days plus. I've been really focusing on beauty from within and manifesting out as well as trying topical products as well as trying um, facial tools that are non-invasive. And so here we are in the middle of the month. I try to do a vlog in the middle of the month. And today I just, I wanna talk about skincare. I wanna talk about this Easter basket full of stuff I got here. Um, because it's really been, par what I've been doing in my routines has really been paralleling what I've been feeling in my life. Like I have all this chaotic stress going on around me. My kids are playing baseball. They're on different teams. We're like at practices every other day, which has been amazing, okay? But it's coordination, of getting everybody in the car and getting their stuff there and making sure they have water. And, and then I've had my own health stuff on top of work stuff, on top of T minus six weeks to launching my um, business, my soap business. And, um, and yet, I have been really feeling this creative, like, um, just energy around me where I'm being filled up lately by seeking out these interesting podcasts where people are doing interesting things with their lives on top of reading um, articles and books and listening to music and just, and just really feeling like I'm having this, my cup being really full with really positive creative things and um it's interesting because all of that creative energy around me right now has really been coming out in my skincare like i'm just normally a minimalist i've been focused for the last two years almost on extremely minimal routines finding out what really works paring everything down using really budget products and in 2021 as i've embarked on this new project of trying products for longer periods investing in higher priced products on top of investing in higher products that are pretty much considered green beauty and not necessarily clean beauty um, a lot of these by independent women founders, I don't know. It's really been an anchor for me lately. Um, with, with, with all the chaos going around, like my skincare has brought me so much joy. So anyway, let's jump in. I want to tell you the AM routine I've been doing because I'm just kind of like smitten with it. It's so much fun. Um, I'm starting every day with an Earthwise Beauty Marshmallow Face Cleanser. I have never tired of this product. It has a gorgeous smell, a gorgeous texture. It's so gentle. It's not strimping. It, I use it twice a day. I use it as my first AM cleanse, and then I also use it after an oil cleanser. And it's just it's just divine, and I've showed it in a the texture in a couple different videos. It's almost like a biphase product where you see this creamy yellow swirl mixing in with soap, and um, it's, it's just luscious and gentle and gorgeous. So I've been using that, but then I come in because we're moving into the hotter months, right? And with mask wearing, like it's... I feel like I've needed more um, sort of microbial regulation on my face. And so I've been adding in the Lihau face mist. My friend um, that lives up in Alaska, she and I uh, traded a couple things and she sent me this full bottle and it's, I just am enraptured with this product. The sandalwood hydrosol that they use as the base is so just phenomenal at toning skin. I've used sandalwood a lot. I've used just sandalwood powder. I've used sandalwood hydrosols. The, the farm that she sources this from is just gorgeous. And it's, it's just so wonderful for keeping the skin toned and even with no breakouts for my skin type. So I do that next. So it's my second, my second layer. 
then I've been feeling drawn to using the Earthwise Beauty Nap in the Meadow Face Serum. This has a really light texture. I think it has an aloe vera base. It has some essential oils in it. And it's just felt divine. Like it's felt divine right after the Lahau. I just really go on how things layer. Um, and this product has layered really nicely, no pilling. So um, I put that on right under the Lahau face mist. And then I do a couple spritzes because I still have this of the Botanical D One Love Organics Moisture Mist. Um, this actually has a really nice texture that I love. It's a lot thicker. It's more like a serum texture. It's, it's, it's interesting because it's moisturizing, but then it's not at the same time. Um, if that makes no sense at all, it definitely doesn't. Except that it adds just a little cushion, a little bit of something grippy on the face. And then I top it with two lightly padded in layers of the Aloha Youth Serum. Summertime is when summertime comes back, I definitely want this product. It's so regulating and just... Ah, the texture is so light, like an essence almost, that you can really pat in a couple layers and build sort of that tacky hydration. Uh, when you don't want to use like a heavy moisturizer, you can really build this product in areas where you have dryness. And um, a friend, my friend Kelly, she sent this to me, and I think this is the one that has the retinol, uh, the bakuchiol in it. So I'm getting Bakuchiol in the AM and the gentle retinol at night. So we're hoping for some transformative, you know, results here on this face. Then, depending on the day, I've been topping a little bit of the Kuiper's Puff of Love, which I'm still feeling. I've been using this now two months, six weeks, on top of the sample that I used. I'm still feeling like this was worth every penny. It was $160, and I paid full price for it. I've used up a good amount of it. There's still a good amount in the jar. You don't need very much a piece sized for moisturizing, but I just feel like it was worth every penny. I don't regret for a second spending a, like a ridiculous amount of money on this product. So um, that's how I'm feeling about that. And that's what's been really nice about trying these products over this past year is that I can confidently say, like I spent $160 on this product get yourself a sample. You may like it too. Um, and that's, nobody benefits from that. I don't get any commissions from that. Like that's just me to you saying, yeah, I bought an expensive product and I liked it. Anyway, I forgot because this just came in the mail two days ago that I'm going to be adding in the Earthwise Beauty Ambrosia Do Cerrado Liquid Moisturizer. This came in the mail. I've never tried this serum. I've always wanted to. It's another aloe-based serum um, with bariti fruit oil. I've heard really good things about this from Trish, from Green Beauty Trish. And um, so this will go right after the Aloha You Serum. And then I may not really need the Puff of Love. So I'm gonna be looking forward to trying this, but I'm like, <gasps> I've always wanted to try it and now it's here. So. Anyway, like, can you believe that? I, that's like a, that's just skincare, one, two, three, four, five, six, sometimes seven products that I put on underneath my sunscreen and my setting powder. However, they are the most lightweight, like just effervescent layers. And so it's been so much fun for me to do my skincare in the morning. Like, pat some in, help a kid, pat some more things in, take a sip of coffee, pat some more things in, make my water for the day. Like, I don't know, I'm just can, it's, like I said, it's been an anchor for me in, in a time of rough seas. <laughs> so, let me tell you, in that same box that came the Ambrosia Do Serato Liquid Moisturizer, also came the new Earthwise Beauty Paloma of the High Desert. I already, like, I immediately looked at the ingredients list. Ava has been talking about the fact that she was going to do an oil cleanser. I think she toyed with the idea of making it rinse off, but in the end, she went with just oils. And friends, 
I have to tell you, I looked at the ingredients list and I was like, oh, like, Ava just knows her stuff. And the one thing that I will say about formulating an oil cleanser is it's all about texture because you want the oils to not feel too dry, but you don't want them to feel too heavy. You want them to wipe off, but you want a little residual layer left. You want them to have this cush, cushiony push to them so that as you're massaging off whatever you're taking off, your hands are moving freely and evenly and uh, this this lives up to everything I would have expected from Ava. Um, I have used it two times and immediately what I wanted to do uh, is use it as a body oil. It's, it's the texture, the cushion. Uh, she uses pomegranate seed oil, which has a gorgeous cushion. She uses Kalahari melon seed oil, another gorgeously cushiony oil, jojoba esters. Like, it just, for me, it's going to be hard for me to wipe this product off because it feels so decadent to the touch that I don't want to wipe it off. So I might have to just use this as a body oil. I'm just saying it now. I'm going to keep trying it. I mean, it's gorgeous as a cleansing oil. It's gorgeous because it, like I said, it has that cushion, that push and pull, everything you're hoping for when you're really trying to get in there and work dirt and makeup and sunscreen off your face, it's doing. But it's, it's just so gorgeous. I wouldn't want to wipe any of it away. So I used it as a body oil this morning after a shower and it was decadent. It was just so decadent. Anyway, I'm already in love with that product and I've only had it for two days. Okay, so then the Maya Chia Straight A, like here I am getting to it at the end. Um, here's what I will say. First impressions. Gentle. Yes, it is gentle. Texture. I don't love the texture. It is a very dry feeling oil. Like my hope would have been that it would have been similar in texture to the Earthwise Beauty um, Black Locust Firming Concentrate because that texture is again, clings to the skin and nourishes and conditions. This is so dry, you feel like it sits on top of the skin. Now, it's been okay that's been okay because I only use it at night and I use the ice roller after I apply it. So it's pushed into the skin by that little bit of condensation on the ice roller and the firming of the ice roller. And that's been my every night routine and I've got to say I've been loving it. It's like the highlight of my night and then I top it with the puff of love. So when I use it in that order like two drops of this on top of the ice roller, then topped off with this, then I have really good results in the morning. My skin feels really bouncy and um, refreshed. I haven't seen any results that I can speak of yet. Obviously it's way too soon to see any results from retinol. I will say that my skin has just felt really nice, really good, like just looking really firm. Um, and then I've been using the Mukti Age Defiance Eye Serum. Like I've been topping that under my eye on top of these other products at night. And I gotta say, it's funny because you would think that I would have loved the Kypris Ad Astra more than this because the Ad Astra had such a dewy, clingy texture, so thick. But in the end, for some reason, I really like this. I don't know if it's because it's easier to move around the eye area or it's because I already have a lot going on and this just feels like a simple last coat. Um, but you know, it has Argeline, it has all those peptides in it. Like I don't, I've just been feeling drawn to this lately. It's been working for me. It's been working in this routine. So funny, um, this product is a little bit more affordable, not by much, but a little bit more affordable than the Ad Astra. And it's in the Beauty Heroes box this month. If you're looking for an eye product, I have really been enjoying it. Yeah, so that's 14 minutes of me just running on and on and on about skincare. But I just feel like lately I have really needed this, um, 
this ritual. I've needed these gorgeous textures and smells and carefully thought out products and they've just been feeling so right and so uplifting. So that's what I've been having going on lately and <laughs> yeah, I'll see you on the 21st for a green beauty theory. Let me know any question, comments, thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Bye.